It's me again, Douglas, and today I wanted to talk to you about Mother's Day. Yeah, and how we can honor our mothers, how we can honor our moms. Now, for me and my family on Mother's Day, we like to show my mom how much we love her because she does so much for us. She really does. She does so much for my family. And so on Mother's Day, we, we let her sleep in and we give her breakfast in bed and we write cards for her and we get her little gifts and, and we try to do all these nice things to show her how special she is to us. And you know, it's interesting because in the Bible, you probably know this, but in the Ten Commandments, it says that we should honor our father and mother. And that's the first commandment with a promise. It says that if we do that, if we honor our fathers and mothers, then things will go well for us. But usually when people are talking about the Ten Commandments and they get to the honor your father and mother part, they say, you know, obey your parents. And if you honor your mother, then you're going to be obeying her. So that makes sense. But you can totally obey somebody without honoring them. And that's not what God wants. God wants us to honor our father and mother. You know, my neighbor's cat is the worst. I usually think of myself as a dog person, but I've known several cats that I really liked, but not my neighbor's cat. He is so gross. He always knocks over our trash cans and gets in the garbage and eats it. And he always makes a huge mess. It's disgusting. And if we hear a trash can get knocked over, we always open the window and say, hey, get out of here, cat. And he'll always obey us, but he always does it real sassy, right? You know, he doesn't talk, but if he could talk, he would totally be like, yeah, fine, whatever. I'll get out of here. I didn't want your garbage anyways. <laughs> yeah, so he like obeys us, but he doesn't really care about us at all. If he honored us, if he cared about us, then he would, you know, not knock over our trash cans. Or if he did, he'd at least apologize. And so honoring your mom is a lot more than just obeying her. When you honor your father and mother, you are valuing them highly. You're being grateful for them. You are respecting them. You care about what they say and how they feel. And so the stuff we do for my mom on Mother's Day is totally an example of honoring our mothers. But we should be doing that all the time. Now, maybe we can't do all the things that we do for my mom on Mother's Day. Maybe we can't do those things every day. But when I sit down to write the Mother's Day card for my mom, I always feel really grateful for her because she's done so much for me. And I get this really happy feeling inside because I really love my mom. And you know, on Mother's Day, we pull out all the stops. We do all the nice things for my mom. And so maybe we couldn't do Mother's Day every single day. But every day we can show my mom that we love her. Every day I can show my mom that I respect her and honor her. It's not just about obedience. It's about love and respect. And so that's my challenge to you guys today is that you would honor your mothers. Not just on Mother's Day, but every day. Because if you do, things will go really well for you. It's the first command with a promise. Our moms are amazing. So let's look for ways this week that we can show them Love and respect and honor.
Okay, okay. It's time to say goodbye again. Okay, I uh, hope to see you uh, again. Okay, maybe in videos or in Zoom. I uh, hope you enjoy our our meeting this uh, this afternoon. Again, happy Mother's Day to all of you, uh, uh, boys. Okay, cook for your parents if you can, and um, let's let's cross in prayer. Okay, let's pray and we'll sing the baby whisper. So, boys, see you again next week. Okay, let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for today we can gather together, Lord, even though we are apart. Some are staying in Luyang, some are uh, in Dikas, in, in all around KK. But Lord, we thank you, you, you can join our heart together. So Lord, you can bring us together uh, using uh, internet. Father, I want to pray for all the boys that Lord, you bless them. You continue to be with them, Lord, you speak to them and continue to... Uh, need their heart uh, with their family. Lord, I pray the Lord you uh, keep all of us healthy, keep our family healthy. I pray for all the mothers, the Lord you bless our, our mother. We thank you Lord for our mom, thank you Lord for their love, thank you Lord for their, their patience for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Great God who knowest all our need, blessed are our watch and God our sleep. Forgive our sins of thoughts and deeds, and in thy peace thy servants keep. We thank thee for the day that's done, we trust thee for the days to be. Thy love we learn in Christ thy Son. Oh, may we all his glory.